In this video, I will show you how you can set up TP-Link TL-R480T Plus in the link aggregation or the load balancing mode. With this router, you can use maximum 4 ports as WAN ports and the router will add up speeds of all the 4 connections. So first of all, click the quick setup button that you will see on the left. Click on next. Choose how many ports you want to use as WAN ports. I will choose 4 as I have 4 WAN connections. Select the WAN port that you want to configure. I will select WAN 1. Select the connection type and go ahead with the configuration as per your connection type. After configuring the first WAN port, you can go ahead and configure all of your other WAN ports. I have already done that, so I will finish the setup. The next step is to configure the upstream and downstream bandwidth for each connection. To do so, Navigate to the network tab and select WAN. By clicking on each WAN you can configure each WAN port individually. Here you can type your WAN subspeed and out speed. You can do this for each and every WAN connection you have. Now your load balancer would be working in the load balancing mode. It will be aggregating all the WAN connection and for each packet that your devices want to transfer, it will choose any WAN connection in the round robin fashion. The TP-Link load balancer has other techniques for load balancing also. To configure them, you can go to the advanced tab and then load balance. Now here you will see two other types of load balancing. You can set up bandwidth based load balancing. This means that the traffic sent to each van will be in ratio to the upstream and downstream bandwidth set for that particular van in the van section under networks tab. The other type of load balancing technique is the application optimized routing. This basically means that the packets from a particular application will go through a particular van port only. So these were the types of load balancing you can do with TPLink TL480T Plus router. Thanks for watching.